Hello and welcome. This is Rufalmonger, my friends. We're talking 2XKO again today. And in today's video, you know, the game's been out for a bit. People are figuring out teams, figuring out concepts. I want to talk about the concept of synergy because obviously it's a 2v2 game. You pick two characters. And while, you know, it's fun enough to pick the characters you like and just kind of go from there, certain characters certainly benefit from other characters more than others. Certain combinations of characters have strategies that are only possible between those two characters or taking existing strategies and making them even better. So we have six playable characters currently in the beta, and I want to highlight three teams of these six characters. Each one just kind of with a fun little combination of strategies where these teams of characters can extra synergize with each other, maybe a little bit better than normal. So our first team concept is simple enough. It's so what you just saw some gameplay of is Braum and Ari. And specifically here, Ari has a very strong assist, fair to say. And Braum has the shield. Now, one of the selling points of Braum immediately was, you know, hit shield, do assist. And that is strong with basically every character in the game. Braum, the shield tanks everything except for throws and well, assists are assists, right? You block the hit, the assist hits. What makes Braum Ari specifically strong is the ability for just Braum to move forward and have this as like a wrecking ball in front of him. Because not only will the assist hit, it holds him in place for a long time. Enough for you to recognize the hit, let go, and then keep the combo going. And that can be very powerful. Braum hits very, very hard. You can take basically any given situation and given the fact that Ari reaches very far and holds the enemy in place for quite some time, you can convert just about off anything. Like not a bad conversion, right? Like that sort of worked out. And it's the same if people are just going crazy rushing you down. For the most part, as long as that shields up, Ari's gonna save the day. Now, the thing about it is uh, other assists can be hit from behind the shield if the move can reach. So just to give an example, you can see she got hit out there, right? At the right exact time and angle. But since she jumps up high, she actually can avoid most moves that other assists would get hit by because you know they're more on like the level field, right? Since she's up in the air, she can avoid a lot of that while She's hiding behind the shield, which is another big advantage to just doing the shield and calling the assist. Like legitimately, most of the time you just, you see the shield go off and you just call the assist and the rest writes itself. Like legitimately. Oh, there's sparks, call assist, I win. And if they somehow recover and block in time, great. Uh, now there is another mark weakness and the Ari assist takes a second to go off, right? So I've been abusing this too much online already. I'm not going to lie to you. And some smart cookies realize once that happens, you can throw the person. But, you know, then you stop abusing it as much. Use it when it's smart. But basically, it's a completely way to safely call her. Uh, if you're not directly beside the enemy and you just do this at a mid-range and just call her, there's basically nothing they can do about it. And if it just hits, you just go and hit, right? You have enough time to run forward and smack them. It doesn't knock them back like the other assists do. So it's a super simple strategy, but it's super strong and super effective. Another bit of fun synergy is Alawi and Darius. So Alawi uh, allows for a fun amount of interesting things, uh, specifically with Darius. One, she has a really strong assist. It's a basic strike, but it's sort of delayed. So if it gets the hit off, like multi hits and launches by itself. So it just gives him a little bit of extra sass, say uh, going for like his overhead because it just gives you a lot of extra time to confirm after the fact compared to some of the other assists. Like you don't need the tag, like sneak in the overhead. Oh, sick, I got it. A lot of time to hit confirm, easiest stuff in the world. Easiest stuff in the world, right? Go from there. And actually that's more damage than I thought it would do. So yeah, like that stuff's pretty cool. Allow he turns everyone into a temporary grappler in the corner, because if you throw them, then the tentacle grabs them. You can do whatever from there. So it scales kind of heavily, right? But it's more damage than you get off a basic throw. It's a good chunk of damage right there, right? So that's a nice little other bit of fun synergy. But the real fun comes with Darius and his wound mechanic, where he applies that kind of bleeding effect where you see people just dropping blood everywhere. 
So this is indeed a game with chip damage. That's how this game works, right? Block special moves, take chip, sure. But the thing about the mechanic is when it's applied, not only do you take chip, you take more chip from everything. You can see that like kind of bloody effect, right? And uh, more crazily, normals do chip now too. And that's well, well and good for Darius. That's a strong mechanic. But Alawi uh, can make that an extra nightmare scenario thanks to her tentacle super. The tentacles that just kind of automatically attack. As they already do a lot of chip damage as it stands, they'll do even more chip damage while this is live. And she'll be attacking you doing more chip damage yet when this whole thing's going on. So let me present to you a scenario here. I'm going to hit you with baby's first block string, right? And go for this and apply the bleed effect. Now, the weakness between uh, Special 2 and the Special 2 is there is a gap, admittedly, and the bot's currently set. If there's any gap at all in the block string, they'll parry. So if I go for it, boom, parry town, right? But I'm going to make this so airtight there will be no gap, thanks to Alawi doing her assist. And she's also going to do her super, and she's going to be super plus after the fact. So here we go. They can only parry after the fact, and now the tentacles are live. And because I did my assist, there is an extra tentacle there, and it's just constantly attacking the enemy. And that's already strong as it is. Uh, let me show you roughly what the chip damage would look like on block here. So by itself, without me adding anything, which I definitely can, a couple reps here, and Yasuo lost about 15, 20% of his health. So that's pretty cool, right? But let's uh, sass this up a little bit. So now we've upgraded the chip damage to half, maybe just a little bit more than half of Yasuo's life. And of course, there's two tentacles directly on top of them. A lot we can do a lot with that, right? Uh, there's certainly a lot of fun things on the menu right now, to say the least, right? But we can still keep going. It doesn't have to stop. The party doesn't end even with a mere 50% of chip damage done. That's pretty much inescapable. So there you go, like 90% chip damage. And if you make it more optimal, I'm sure you could probably kill, right? Uh, but there's a lot of stuff that can be done with the wound mechanic and that increased chip damage. So Alawi and Darius, uh, sort of match made in heaven when it comes to that kind of stuff. And you can do this stuff anywhere on screen. Uh, it's best in the corner, obviously. It's easiest to set up in the corner. Uh, but if you get creative, you can kind of get tricky with it to be sure. So. I think this is a pretty good example of synergy. Now, just to add at the end here, how do we beat this? Well, the game gave you push block for a reason. You should invest in that bar. Yes, it sucks to burn a bar, but it sucks a lot worse to lose 80% of your life in chip. Another strong example of synergy, and this is quick, dirty, and easy, is Echo and Yasuo. So Echo is a very mix up laden boy, right? Lots of tricky ways to get between you and like kind of hit you at weird angles. And sometimes he can trap you uh, with judicious use of the roll between him and his assist for mix ups. But then enter Yasuo, where he does a lot of the hard work for you. Like you can just get someone in a block string, which, you know, is not terribly difficult and call the Yasuo assist. And the thing about the Yasuo assist is it automatically switches sides for you, as in he's on the other side. So if I were to call him, hey, boom, I'm facing this side now, right? Easy peasy. And it enables the echo mix up without having to work hard for it or having to work for it at all, really. So all I'm gonna do is a basic string, like ABC, light, medium, heavy, call Yasuo. So light, medium, call Yasuo, heavy. And then there we are. And when you know it, it leaves me exactly in range for my overhead. So I can do all that, go for my overhead, and while Yasuo is out, it's time for 50-50 mix-up.
So right there, that was the low first. So if you didn't block that low immediately, you get hit and I can keep my string going and it's gonna be a full combo. That time it was overhead low. So you had to block the overhead first, even though Echo's not tagged in, you still got to block high, right? And uh, once again, you just keep going. If they guess right, they guess right, it happens. And there's really just a lot of ways you can be tricky. That's just sort of a basic example. Uh, Echo being Echo with the rule, especially you can get really tricky on a lot of different things. Uh, but that's just a basic example of synergy with the assist where it just cuts out a lot of the hard work for you. Since he automatically switches sides, it automatically creates the sandwich Echo's looking for, and you can just kind of go from there. There's going to be so many cases of wild synergy in this game to the point where, like, if you think it has a chance to work, it probably will to some degree. Uh, obviously, this is the alpha. Things will change in the future. But for now, the amount of freedom in the game and what's possible is very fun. Obviously, the characters do whatever they're going to do. But, you know, add a certain character with another character and then... Sometimes the synergy can be really basic, but really strong, or can get really advanced and do some messed up stuff. Feel free to explore, feel free to mess around with what you can. That all said though, that is the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well and go out and play some 2XKO.